The Galaxy S9 Plus is the most stylish looking smartphone you can buy thanks to Samsung continuing its design ethos of melding a glass panel with a metal frame. It doesn't look very different from the S8 Plus, but that doesn't matter unless you're upgrading every year and demand annual newness. Samsung has made small, but meaningful, changes on the back of its new phones. You'll find the fingerprint sensor on the rear again, but now it's aligned in the center, below the camera. The S8 Plus had a much maligned offset scanner adjacent to the camera, and it was hard to blindly unlock your phone without smudging the camera lens. New to the S9 Plus is the fact that the face unlock and iris scanner biometrics now work at the same time to unlock the phone. Whenever our eyeballs or mug were looking down at the phone, it opened quickly. We'll have to continue to test these features against Apple's iPhone X Face ID to see which phone is less of a pain to unlock versus the relatively old-fashioned front fingerprint sensors that both companies retired from their phones last year. The other important design tweaks are the S9 and S9 Plus stereo speakers, a first for a Samsung flagship and, frankly, long overdue. Samsung-owned AKG Acoustics has tuned the new earpiece speaker and the bottom firing speaker so that they're 40% louder than the single speaker on the S8 Plus. And support for Dolby Atmos brings simulated 360-degree sound to the new smartphone. The best part? You won't accidentally mute all sound from the bottom firing speaker when holding the phone in landscape mode. You can choose one of four colors, including the new standout lilac purple. Other S9 color options at launch include midnight black and coral blue in the US, UK and Europe. There's also a titanium gray hue coming to other so far unspecified countries, according to Samsung. And that's it. You won't readily notice anything else that's new on the outside of the S9 Plus. The dimensions have changed by a few millimeters to reduce the top and bottom bezels, making it a tiny bit shorter than the S8 Plus, but it's still a stretch to touch the corners of the screen furthest from your grip. This is a really big phone meant for big mitts. Samsung, unlike its rivals, is standing by the 3.5 millimeters headphone jack and microsd card slot. It's also giving us a second year of the Bixby button on the left side of the phone to call up its digital assistant. No, you still can't remap this button to your liking and, yes, you'll still hit it instead of the nearby volume down key.